Fulani Social Cultural Organization Mieti Ala Kata Ohore has apologized to Benue State Governor Samuel Otom over herdsmen attacks and killings in the state. National Secretary of the Association, Saleh Al Hassan, pledged to ensure peaceful coexistence between herdsmen and farmers. He gave assurance that members of the group would embrace the peace moves put forward by the governor. Responding, Governor Ortom said the enactment of the open grazing prohibition and ranches establishment law is to end the killing of innocent people and encourage ranching. I'm here to support the government's initiative and all initiatives that will bring sustainable peace between farmers and herders and also to help people understand some of the narratives that have given the wrong expectation about the country, which I believe if we work together, we will be able to isolate the criminal elements and deal with them. It's law on ranching, which is the global best practice for animal husbandry and there is no land for open grazing. What we did here was not against any ethnic group. We are not against Fulani men in Benue State. Well, security expert Dennis Amakri joins me now to share his perspectives on this matter. Good to have you on the news at this time. So what are your thoughts on the developments unfolding between, uh, between the, two the two parties here, talking about the Benue State Government and Mieti Allah, do you think perhaps this is going to be the end of all the fracas we've been seeing over time now? We hope that uh, it's going to be um, a respite for the uh, people, the villagers that are living around there. Um, you see, this particular kind of agreement or apology has been done before in Imo State. Uh, where the chairman of Magban uh, came and apologized to people in Imo State. Um, now it is happening again in uh, Imo, uh, Benue State, and that is a good, a good sign. I think um, if ranching is, is adhered to, um, everybody will have a better time. Uh, we've been uh, suggesting that particular thing, which is the global best practice, and I think uh, they should uh, keep to it. And in spite of this uh, ranching policy, do you think perhaps the Mieti Allah will be ready to go by this uh, policy where the state government believes that that is the best uh, practice to adopt? You know, uh, many people have said it, that uh, ram, uh, nomadic lifestyle is uh, what the Fulani herdsmen uh, believe in because they've done it, their fathers, their grandfathers have done it for so many years. Uh, but uh, the world is changing, and um, you have to change according to what is going on all over the world now. See, so um, ranching is going to be very beneficial for many reasons. You know, uh, Nigerian cows are um, not the meat is not very too uh, strong; it's not very tender, and uh, that has even stopped foreign. Um, uh, companies that uh, like McDonald's that wants to come to Nigeria, uh, they can't come because the meat, they cannot import their own meat and the meat in Nigeria is too tough, you know. So if they could um, do that, even the, the ranching will help the cows to produce better milk. So there are too many advan advantages uh, for this particular rancher idea and I think they should buy it. All right, and let's hope that this will be the end of the feud between the two parties concerned. Daniel Amakri, security expert, thanks a lot.